This is where things get interesting. Tin Servic of Croatia, the 27-year-old. He watched Artur Mariano of Brazil fall from the high bar. That's the man he has to beat to gain a spot in the field at the Olympics next summer. And yes, he wants to be world champion. He wants to get a medal here. But my guess is if he had to choose, he would choose. This is big combination right there. If he had to choose, he'd choose qualifying to the Olympics. Very unorthodox style on high bar. His major release, and that was excellent. So he's got some places where it can get a little tricky. Right here, wants to be in a handstand. And without question, do you like parry? Put it on your feet, because you're going. Absolutely a great exercise from a former world champion. The way you want to do it. And he heard you, Tim. He did not back down, did not water down. He came with all the difficulty. And man, I don't know if he can do that routine better than he just did, quite frankly. And you know, it, it, every four years after an Olympics, what the judge community does, the FIG, they get together and they make the code of points, the rules for gymnastics, harder. And he has gone through a bunch of different changes. And when the most recent ones have happened, it, the, the skills that bring in the biggest level of difficulty weren't his type of skills. He had to relearn a whole new genre of gymnastics, the double flipping skill over the bar. And he also combined this type of skill right here, which has a high value in the code now too, doing these releases from a stalter position. And he actually combines elements together as well. Really great stuff. And it's amazing that he is so good at this event because he suffered a double arm fracture at the age of six after falling off the horizontal bar. And because of that, he developed a fear of the apparatus. But then when he was 13, he injured his elbow. And he could only use the horizontal bar. That's the only apparatus he could work on. So that made this event his main focus from that point forward. So despite the injury and the fear from the horizontal bar, that's the very thing that got him to be a world champion in 2017. And now set to go back to the Olympics for a second time. And the one element, I think, in there that I think would be a question potentially is you mentioned the, the skills where he goes into the sculptor like this right here he does one into the layout position that was the straddle and I bet the judges are looking at whether to give him a layout or a pike on that and that would make a difference in the start value if he's pike over the top of the bar and not in a fully straight laid out position that will change his difficulty score. Yeah, absolutely they can look at anything I would say in looking at it in real time that his positions were good enough. They could take a small execution deduction, but this is bad though. Typically when there is, a, what's happening now is somebody is discussing this and what they're discussing certainly is going to be the start value. Typically doesn't go in the favor of the gymnast. He's into the lead. 14.500. Well, here is the 22 year old, the reigning Olympic champion, and coming off his second straight world individual all around title here on Thursday. There are a lot of guys that are capable of doing most of the elements in this routine, but nobody is capable of doing them all together. Like this combination right here. Oh, she's fantastic. And then huge flight right here. Do another one in the tucked position. Now he'll also try to combine them one after another. Got to hit a handstand. Pretty good. A tenth at least, but can be a lot worse. Well, if you're a betting man and you bet against Daike, you don't know much. Wow.
He's got two gold medals. And I'll tell you what, Steve, John, uh, he's got another one right there. I, I mean, Tint Cervic was great, but he's just got such a, a cushion because his routine is more valuable. It's, it's, it's harder. Yeah, no doubt about it, Tim. And, and I just got to throw this in there. I just got a text from Brody Malone. He said, yeah, I'm at home taking notes right now. That's yeah, awesome. Now plenty to take note of here. And don't count Brody out as well, because he is a fabulous gymnast, suffered a horrific injury in Germany Look at that. To his leg, Great multiple surgeries. With full twist. That's called the It'd be easy to say, ah, he won't make it back. But once again, you'd be a a naive betting person if you bet that. Yeah, you'd be wrong. I said it right from the start. Position. Brody's gonna he's gonna be back. The kid's tough. And he's driven, and he's gonna make Team USA two. even better Maybe than it was this year, no doubt. But right now, man, I Tim, I just get blown away every time. You, you said how many clutch situations yeah, Hashimoto has been on high bar and delivers 100% of the time. But I keep thinking so in my head, oh man, he, he, he can't do this again. He can't keep he it can't going. can't do this again. <laughs> and he just does. Yeah. And he's also been dealing with injuries this season. He's had wrist and back problems that have plagued him since earlier in the year. He also suffered a concussion when he fell off the pommel horse at the World University Games a couple of months ago. So he's been banged up, but boy, has he come through here at the World Championships. First man to go back to back in the individual all around since his fellow countryman Kohei Uchimura in 2014-15. And looking for another gold medal in the last event here on the high bar where he is sensational. 15.233 and into first place. Wow. That is huge right there. <laughs> Su Wei Du. China on the high bar to finish things up. He qualified in fifth. Earned silver with the Chinese team in the team final, but he did struggle on the high bar during the course of that event. Yeah, and he actually blames himself. He threw himself, oh, look at that. That was awesome. He threw himself completely under the bus, said it was him that caused China not to have a shot to win that gold medal, but look at that right there. Just beautiful, beautiful gymnastics. It's exciting to see him throw his arms up in the air like that, but I, I don't think technically it's the best thing to do. This is cool right here. First one we've seen in finals. Does this really well. We got an 11.166. Oh, no 11s today, that's for sure. That's going to be 14 plus. And what a way to finish these World Championships. Yeah, I'm happy for him, you know. It, it, it's hard to go home knowing or believing it, you know, it came out of his mouth, believing that you're the reason why China did not win. If he had done what he did in the qualifying competition, if he did that in the team final, China would have been on top, and it would have been an easy victory for them if you just take that one routine and you switch the scores. But of course, everybody could say that as well. From Guangdong, won a team silver medal. I hope this is the first one right here because this goes right to a handstand. Just perfect. That is so dangerous because you can fall the wrong way, and then. It's just, it's and no here, good at all. The Coleman keeps the swing going. I tell you what, he is, uh, he's something else. He had some very low moments here in Antwerp, but you know, if you're, kicks up. if you're China gymnastics or his personal coach, there's the nothing the better. That came after the Luke in, which was the same nothing you the want twist. more is for your guy to get back up on that bar and show 
yeah, you know what happened? Look it got away from me, but not going to happen again. This was gorgeous. Cleanly yeah, I love the those release moves. Amazing. And the height Ooh, above the bar. Like you talked about the, the steel feet. bar, Tim, and, and the difficulty of those skills. I had a chance to measure some of the heights of these athletes. And Fred Richard, in particular, he's about 14 plus feet over the ground and over a steel bar when they're doing those release moves, you know, four feet above a basketball hoop, if you can put it in perspective of something everybody knows. And that's absolutely uh, terrifying to think about, but makes it even more amazing to think about what these athletes are doing. Yeah, they say that gymnastics is not a contact sport, but speaking as a person who hit his chin face on the bar more than once in their career, it can be. And the last score is a 14.500, and that's good enough for the bronze. And the gold medal, once again, belongs to Daiki Hashimoto, the 22-year-old from Japan, with his third gold medal of the week here at the World Championships.